In this video, we demonstrate a simple and effective method to unbind Esviz cameras from an existing account, whether linked to an email or mobile number, without the need to contact customer support or send any emails. We'll guide you through the steps to remove the device from the previous account and easily add it to a new Esviz account, allowing you to regain control of your camera quickly. If you attempt to scan the camera's QR code and receive the message, apply for unbinding, it indicates the camera is already linked to another Esviz user account. You may see the beginning letters of that user's email or mobile number. If you still have access to that account, you can reconfigure the camera. However, if you want to change the user account or no longer have access to the old one, click the Apply for Unbinding option to remove the camera from the old account. On this page, you need to fully enter the old user's email address or mobile number, then click the Next Step button to proceed with the unbinding process. Scan the QR code again from the camera and click the Submit button. You will need to confirm the legal agreement to successfully delete the camera from the old account. This process allows you to regain control without needing to contact customer support. Once this process is complete, you'll see the message Unbinding successfully, and then re-add devices to configure Wi-Fi and add the camera to your new Esviz user account as usual. Note, you can use this procedure for all other Esviz Wi-Fi camera models, but you must know the complete old user's email ID or mobile number to unbind. Also ensure the camera is ready for network connection. If not, press and hold the reset button to restore the camera to factory default settings. Wait for voice confirmation or the blue LED flashing, indicating the camera is ready to be added. When you reach the device selection screen in the Esvis app, select Camera from the list of available device types to ensure proper recognition of the camera's features. Next, grant the app permission to access your photos. This allows the app to use the camera scanner effectively for reading QR codes directly from your device's display or the camera itself. Once you select the device type and allow photo access, the camera scanner interface will open. Locate the QR code on the camera, usually found on the label, and scan it. The app will automatically recognize the camera's unique details. After the QR code is scanned, the app will guide you through the steps to complete the setup process, including connecting the camera to your Wi-Fi network. You will also be prompted to enable Bluetooth on your phone for configuration. Make sure to grant this permission, as it's necessary for establishing a connection between the camera and your device. Once Bluetooth is enabled, you can proceed with the setup process smoothly. Choose your Wi-Fi network from the list. After selecting the network, enter the Wi-Fi password accurately to ensure a successful connection. Once the camera is connected to the Wi-Fi router, you will hear a voice prompt confirming the configuration, indicating that the setup is complete and the camera is ready for use. Ensure that you securely back up and store the device QR code. This QR code is essential for configuring or modifying the network settings of the camera in the future. To use it, simply retrieve the saved QR code data when needed. By default, audio recording is turned off, however, you can enable it if desired. In this section, you can configure or adjust the date and time settings, as well as the date format. Additionally, you can enable cloud storage for recorded footage during the free trial period. You will also have the option to enter or select a name for your device and designate its location. Once these settings are configured, you can access live streaming from the camera. You may also be prompted to change the encryption password during setup. 
enter your own password, which will be required for future features like camera sharing and other functions. For a detailed step-by-step -step guide on adding the camera to the Esvis app, please check out our other videos. We hope you found this video useful. Please consider supporting us. Your support helps us create more informative content like this and enables us to continue providing valuable resources to our audience. Whether it's through liking, sharing, or subscribing to our channel, every bit of support is greatly appreciated.